Today we gonna be working on this beautiful model right here. Let's start coding. This is the app component. I already added a button which is connected to a boolean state. According to this state, the model will be open or closed. Let's create the model component. I'm gonna create a folder called app model. In that folder, I'm gonna add two files. One is for the TypeScript, one is for the styles. In the app model, I'm gonna import the style sheet. I'm gonna import the boolean state and boolean set state action. These two. According to that that one I will open and close this div. If this value is open, I want to render this one. If not, I'm gonna render an empty tag. Alright, now I'm gonna import the model inside the app component. Now let's test the app. When I click the button, I get this text. When I click it again, it goes away. Now model rendering part is working. Now we have to design it. I'm gonna have three different divs for this component. One is the transparent background. Second one is the white box in the middle of the screen. Third one is the container that holds all the elements that we wrap this component with. Alright, let's create those divs. I'm gonna get children from the props. I'm gonna pass those props to the container now i'm gonna add class name s dot container this one is background all right let's style this one i'm gonna style the transparent background first this is what is look like at the end this transparent background all right class is the bg we need the full width and full height and i'm gonna add the transparency the transparent background must be on top of all other components. Therefore, the C index must be maximum number. Also, the position of this transparent background must be fixed. Alright, let's test the application. You can see now the transparent background is appearing. The text is in the left corner. Now I'm gonna design that and add it to the middle. To get those things into middle, I'm gonna add display flex and justify content center. Now you can see the text is in the middle. Next, I'm gonna style the white box. I have added FG class for that one. I'm gonna add width of 40 VW, max height 500 pixel, height max content. Now margin top 120 pixel. Let's see the design now. Now it is in the center. Now let's add the background color white. Let as border radius. All right. I hope you remember I have added another one for container. I'm gonna design that one now. I'm gonna add margin 20 for that one. Now you can see it's in the middle. Also, I'm gonna add with 100%. Now I'm gonna center this container inside this foreground. In this way, the container will be in center of the foreground. I'm gonna add box shadow here. Also, I added overflow Y scroll. Now, if the content is too long, it will be scrollable. All right, the design is done. Now let's go to the model to add logic. First, I'm gonna add a feature that when I click this transparent layer, this model will be disappeared. All right, to add that one, I'm gonna add on click to the background. In that background i change the open value to false now it should disappear all right when i click it it appears again but the problem is when i click this white color box it will disappear also to stop that i'm gonna add stop propagation to the foreground here i'm gonna get the event in that event i have stop propagation when i add stop propagation this click only affect to the background but foreground and all the other components inside that foreground doesn't affect with this on click so let's test that again See, nothing happens. When I click the background, it disappears. All right, now it's fixed. In projects, we don't use this app model directly most of the time. We use video delete model, comment delete model, and some kind of delete model according to the given situation. For example, I have created a video delete model here. I am using the app model, but I have added this article and asides to customize it according to the way we want. So when you create app model, we have to think about giving the customizability to the developer. So here I have app model props so i'm gonna export that one here okay i rename props to app model props and export it so in this way all the props that we are using in here can access to video delete model okay so if you wanna do a change to video delete model specifically you only have to change this component if you don't create separate components for specific things like this if you want to do little bit of customization you have to go to app model and pass different kind of props to it so it is much harder also you have to memorize all these props so instead of doing that one follow this method if you want to add video delete model create a separate component for that one if you want to add comment delete model create one for that one so in this way you can customize each and every model specifically also think like this your designer want to change the current design into a new one what you have to do is go to this app model and change only this component 
In this way, all the models you create separately will be changed according to the new design. Also, you are using custom design, right? So, if you want to move to material design, what you have to do is get the material model design that component and add it inside this app model component instead of passing these different views. In that way, all the models that you have used will be changed according to the new design. This is the importance of creating a reusable component. It is very beneficial in the late game, not right now. You have to think about how to make changes in the future. Okay. I'm going to add the delete model to the app component and I'm going to remove these things. Now you can see you get all these designs. Yeah, this is the end of the video. In the next video, I will teach you how to create a reusable notification. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a nice day.